Hi guys, it's Denise with One of Our Crafts. Oh, thank goodness I finally got them done. <laughs> I know a lot of you have been waiting for these Valentine's packs. They are done and they are up in the shop now. Um, I apologize for being so late. However, we had a four-day dilemma with not being able to get avocados in our Walmart. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but um, yeah, I sent my son to go get some in the middle of my dye. Um, so that I could make, because uh, I used um, 15 gallons, I'm not kidding, 15 gallons of dye. When I do a batch up, I pour it into a, a, a water jug and um, I filled 15 <laughs> to do these packs. I'm not kidding. So when my son ran to the store to go get me more avocados to, to brew up some more, um, he said, um, no avocados, Mom. I said, yeah, right. Get me the avocados. I know you just don't want to go through the self-checkout and check out a, a bunch of 20, 20 avocados. And he's like, no, seriously. And he sent me a picture, and the shelves were bare. Uh, we called out to Sedalia, same problem. I guess they had a shipping issue. They're, the truck that normally comes to this, air, this local area um, broke down. So they didn't get their avocados in. So it delayed me by four days. So I apologize for that. But they are up now. Um, so I just kind of want to go through them a little bit and then talk a little bit about what's coming up in the shop um, and uh, what you'll see or not see and, and, and all that stuff. So anyway, the um, Valentine's packs will come. I'm calling them a 2020 Valentine's pack because everything in it is pink. Um, and they will be out and great to use for your Valentine's projects. Um, they will come in this beautiful mailer <clears throat> that says thank you. Um, everything in it I tried to use that you could reuse in some way, shape, or form. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but these mailers that I send you guys in are very durable. They're also water resistant, and that's why I get them because, you know, I'm shipping paper. I don't want to get damp or wet or anything like that. And... That being said, you could probably use reuse this. Um, I will put the, I know it says thank you. I'm going to move this because it keeps sticking to it. I know it says thank you on one side, but I will probably put the shipping label up here. That way you have this whole big, beautiful section, and it would be just about perfect to do a, um, like a traveler's notebook and cover it if you are um, one of those people that like to make them and you do go outdoors and don't want to get your stuff wet. This would be a great cover for something like that. And then they come in this big silo bag, and they do have a packing list. All right, so I'm going to go through it from bottom to top. The great thing about the silo, I know a lot of people are hesitant about using the silo bags, but um, you can cut these and make windows. You can make um, and so you can actually sew them in as pockets um, and use them, um, like you know, to make to hold your ephemera or something like that. So. That's what I keep my silo bags for. I have a big container that I also keep them in. Um, of course, as always, here's the shipping label, or the, uh, the, the packing contents, I should say. Each one will have one of these, so you'll know what's in it. Of course, I always give a washi card with my um, business card and an altered paper clip. That will come in it as well. Um, so I kind of want to go from like bottom to, to top. So so you can kind of see how I built them up. I wrap them in the fuzzy, the nice fuzzy that I always do, um, the yarn. And if your pack, if your envelope pack is, is wrapped in one color, I tried to make sure that the other color, so you'd have two different colors to use. I, I use three colors, white, this pink, and then there's like a, a very light, light, like off-white, ucro, ecro, tan color, you know, so, which I thought would go really good with, like, a vintage look. So, let me start from the bottom. So, we're going to flip it over. What I did was I got some paper pack. Um, it's a, a um, gosh, I can't remember the name of it, but anyways, what I did was I cut it down. It's a 12 by 12 piece. I cut it down so that it would fit um, the legal size paper. And then what I did was I added a piece, I tried to coordinate a piece of plain so that you could use it in your crafting. I put it on with washi tape so it comes off very easy. I did not use additional glue so that you can reuse it and you know you could probably stick it on a card or something like that. 
um, to store it until you're ready to use it. So I did not glue that down so it will come up. It comes with the legal size paper with a um, the legal pad, which is a 14 by 8 and a half um, size uh, paper um, with an avocado 12 inch doily, dye doily. Some of this dye, I will say, some of the paper is darker, some is lighter. It's just how sometimes pa each paper takes dye different and in, in different stages that I did it in. So I tried to get a mix of darks and lights in each of the packs. That's kind of another reason why it took me a little while because I kind of wanted to make sure everybody had a little bit of mix of everything. Um, and also to let you know, they are not all plain paper. Okay, there are markings in here. There's designs, patterns, and all kinds of stuff in it. Okay, and it, that is also in the listing. So, legal paper. that You'll get five sheets of it. Five sheets of the graph paper that's graph on one side and lined on the other. Also in with a 12-inch avocado dye doily okay and then uh, normal multi-purpose computer paper whatever you want to call it it's 11 by eight and a half inch with a 10 inch doily avocado dye all the doilies are avocado dyed so let me just say that because it can be quite a mouthful to have to repeat so uh, to, most of them have like three plain pieces of plain and then a couple pieces that are decorative all right then a three sheets of the composition um, the composition notebook paper the big paper it's the full signature avocado dye now right. somehow I got that in backwards how did I do that there it goes <laughs> okay and then you're going to get two sheets of this full signature um, vintage um, music paper. Okay, it is old. It's from the 1930s um, and it is quite patinaed. Excellent, excellent to use like uh, for collaging or what have you. That all comes with an 8 inch doily. Also, I've got some avocado dyed um, music paper. Now, I will say, I originally was going to ask more for these packs. I had a bit of a struggle, me and this music paper. It just been going round and round. I found I have a couple hymnals that died really well and others that just they took very little dye. So I, I don't know if you can see up against the white, you can tell it has some pinking, but it's not very dark. Okay. Uh, because of that, I decided to drop the price. So the original price is less. The price that's listed now is less than what I was originally going to, but I went ahead and added it anyway because there is some pinking in there. It's not quite as rosy or dark pink as I would have liked it, but I did all of it for the packs. So instead of, I didn't want to charge you guys for something and you guys be like, well, it's not very dark avocado. I went ahead and put it in there and I did lower the, the price of what I was originally going to ask for it. So because of that. Okay, and that, that is also wrapped in an 8-inch doily. Then you're going to get five co uh, avocado dyed coffee filters. These are great to kind of fold up and make little pockets or just stick in your journal. They're great for, for journal space and stuff. Um, you're going to get two 6-inch doilies and two 4-inch doilies. So you go all the way from 12, 10, 8, 6, and 4-inch doilies, two of each in the pack. Now... <clears throat> Because I had these extra strips when I cut them off, what I did was mixed and matched. So then that way you had a, a, some extra scrapbooking paper to do whatever you like. You know, it's kind of Valentine's-y. Um, so I thought that would be great in there. Then you get a little envelope pack. And these are all wrapped up. And in here you will get three of the uh, six by nine booklets. Okay. And I played around a little bit with some of this in my dyeing with some lace <laughs> yes <laughs> some of it came out really gray and dark some did not so you might see some patterns like on this one it's got a very light background on it um, but I tried to include at least one pattern piece in in the majority of the envelopes some of them came out really nice I just got to play with it some more um, and we'll talk about that later at the end so, and then you get the long envelopes. These came out fairly dark. Most of them did, but I did try to put like a different shades in there. And this one has like a doily marking on it. 
and then three of the smaller envelopes, okay, and like this one, I don't know if you can pick up the pattern or not, but that is lace, and I love how it blushed. I would like um, to, like I said, experiment more with it, but I did add some of it, so you'll get a little bit of something in there that has the, that kind of pattern on it, and then I've also put, like I said, the plain ones on there, and I'll rewrap that here in just a sec here. I just want to put that in here. I'll get this all repackaged back up. <laughs> so, anyways, and then, okay, and once again, I did use some CeeLo bags. I know a lot of pe people don't like the CeeLo. They want to keep everything natural. I like the CeeLo bags, like I said, because I can use them to make shaker cards and windows and all kinds of other wonderful stuff. And it also keeps everything from shifting all over the place. So, <clears throat> In this little bag, there's t uh, five uh, avocado dye guest checks. There are five of these CD cases that kind of gave me fits because I can't put them in the oven, so I had to um, hang them to dry. Um, and But I still like how they came out on those. <clears throat> and then I made, you guys are going to get a little sneaky peek of what's to come. Um, there's five index cards and five of this. This is mini composition notebook paper. Um, <clears throat> when I originally got them, I thought they were going to come out in signatures. They don't. They come out in individual sheets. However, I think they would be awesome because they're so small. You could back a tag. You could back a journaling card, something, you know, to back on to something instead of a thicker, if you wanted some to keep it thinner, okay? And then I made these little um, library card folders. And as you can see, there's this is not um, one part is colored and one part's black and white. They're all different. They're all the same pattern, but they're different. And then the reason why I say that is this is a sneaky peek of my upcoming, my next um, digital kit. Uh, this is one of the backgrounds that I have. Um, I have it in the Mono, I call it monochrome. I think that's what it's called, where it's just black and white and gray. And then I also did the same thing in color with some peachy and pinks and stuff like that. So that will be coming out here shortly. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping to have that done by the end of the month um, before Valentine's, but it is not a Valentine's kit. Okay? And I'll, and I'll talk a little bit about that here in a minute. I just want to get through the pack because I know you guys are eager. I've had Tons of messages on Etsy today asking where the packs are, if they're loaded, if they're gone, that kind of thing. Um, so, <sighs> and then free gift with purchase. All right. Um, I have put these together. Um, so parts of them are all the same. Parts are different. So I'm going to go through what is the same and what is different in here. I wanted to give you guys a little something that you could play with, whether it's mixed media in your mixed media projects, and your journal projects, scrapbooking, whatever, okay? But I wanted to give you guys a little gift to say thank you for everything that you do, for supporting me, for supporting my shop, my channel, everything. You guys are just amazing. Um, I, 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 I really <laughs> pushed myself to get these packs done, but I think it was worth it because every one of you guys are worth it. So, anyways, these are all the same in each of the packs. It comes with a 10-inch stud braided trim, okay? And I tape the ends off, and I would leave the tape on there until you're ready to use it because they too tend to fray. There is a pin holding it in the back. Um, this is a 12-inch piece of the pink ruffled binding trim, okay? It is a binding trim, but you can easily cut that off or take that apart and have a separate binding and a separate ruffle. And then these are, um, they're 6 inches, but they um, this 6 inches comes with um, eight of these little um, cameo rhinestone trims. So in six inch, the six inch strip, strip, okay, there's, there is eight of them and they're just rhinestone with little cameo and I thought they would be cute. You could cut them off um, or you could even stitch them onto something because there is like a little um, bit of thread here. So you could probably stitch like two together or whatever on a project and they are pinned in there. So be careful of the pin, all right, and get all that back together. And then what I did was um, I put together, I put a little bit of fabric, a little fabric card, 
in there. They're all different, a little bit of sari, and most of them have either chiffon or an additional piece of sari on there. Okay, so like this one is chiffon, it's black, and then some gray uh, sari silk. And then there's a couple pieces of little boho or some little fabrics in there. Like this one's a little piece of trim you could use. You could cut that off and have it like dangle from a from your uh, journal cover or from a tag or something like that. You could easily cut it down. Um, that kind of stuff. There's there and then all of that is random. It's all different. Okay. And then like this one has a little piece of just trim that you could use. And then I made these little um, yarn cards. And they're on a corrugated, corrugated cardboard. So they're stiff. And when you get them all off, one side has music paper and the other side has, a, it's either decorated with um, like notebook paper, scrapbook paper, whatever underneath. So then, and I made them into a little tag. So if you're, when you use it all up, you'll have a little tag, a little journaling tag or something for your um, thing. Or you could, you know, even re-gift this to someone else if you like. These are all random, okay? This one just so happens to have reds in it. I have ones that have pinks, pinks and purples, all purple, um, just some different colors in there. Um, I didn't want everything all pink because not everybody does, you know, the red and white or some people just do pink, some people do red, some people do purple, some people just mix them up. And um, I just love this yarn. I get these from um, uh, Victorian um, Gypsy Girl on Etsy, and um, I had, I have, I love them, and I have so many of them, I wanted to uh, make sure I, I, you know, give you guys a little bit of it, too, because, um, you know, sometimes we don't want to buy a big old sheen of it. I do use quite a bit in, like, my journals and stuff like that, so for me, it's, I buy them, I use what I need, and then I normally either re-gift it or, you know, send it in happy mail. But this time I thought I'd, I'd, I'd add a little bit in here for you guys. So, those are the Valentine's packs. They are loaded in Etsy. Um, I'll have to redo that here in a second. So, what I want to do, just for a brief second, is I want to talk a little bit about where I'm going with the shop. <clears throat> You've probably been to the shop looking for these, um, and you've probably seen it's pretty bare in there. <laughs> Today, I kind of got wiped out of pretty much of everything that was kind of left in there, and that's how it's going to stay for probably about a month and a half to two months. I say that because I need to take a little break. Um, I dyed a bunch of stuff, and then I got, and I wanted to do these packs, and I have not, other than the one week that I got to take off uh, in between here, I have not been in my craft room, um, and my creativity is is just it's going through the roof, and it's I just need a craft. I have a I have a journal that is spoken for that I'm I'm working on now, um, the winter one. Um, I need to get it finished. I have a project for Crafty Cat that I need to get started and done. I have to finish my digital kit. Um, in between there somewhere, I've got to find some time to get my last quarter tax information together because I kind of slacked on it so it's all over the place instead of keeping it all nice and organized like I normally do I kind of let it go to the wayside so <laughs> I got to get all that stuff together because I've got to get all my stuff together for taxes not only for myself but I have to get everything together for my mom's estate so that may take some time as well so um and I want to restructure how I do the shop and what I mean by that is um I have kind of seen like some of the trends that uh, when people purchase from my shop they like to buy in almost like building a paper pack so what I am how I'm going to go with it is and, and I've got some a couple ideas and I just need to kind of figure out where how I'm going to do it um, I will still offer paper um, it won't be until my next die which will be a couple months but what I think I'm going to do is offer plain papers, because I know a lot of people just want the plain. They don't want all of the decorative stuff in there. I will have packs that will um, I will do from time to time that will have decoration. I'm hoping to try and do some more of that lace decoration in there. Um, 
and I have to say thank you very much, um, Carol from Caroline Creates. Um, we kind of bounced some ideas back and forth. Uh, she kind of gave me some tips on how to kind of do some of it. Um, it's going to be a little different than coffee dyeing because I, I did experiment. It's not going to be the same as coffee dyeing because the avocado dye, you can leave it to sit and dry, um, but you don't get, sometimes you don't get the deep color and you, and and it takes much longer in Missouri, and I'm going to say that, in Missouri, to dry because we have a lot of humidity here. A lot of people don't believe it until they come here and realize we have a lot of humidity. <laughs> so even in the cold, it's humid. So sometimes it takes forever for things to dry. That's why I kind of fought a little bit with the CD cases because to do the CD cases, it took three days to dry them because of the humidity. That's normally why I use the oven predominantly for here anyway. So um, that being said, I'm going to look at um, building paper packs where you would be able to go in and build your pack. So you would be able to say, you know, I could say, okay, I've got all these different paper types. Build your pack. You can have three. You can choose three or four items um, for this price. And, you know, this is what you will get in that pack. Um, or uh, next time you might not want graph paper. You might want composition notebook and regular paper and legal size paper instead of the graph paper you can mix and match yourself and build them that way um, envelopes and stuff i think i'm gonna do them in packs and same thing with like the index cards guest checks and possibly the cd cases and and uh, copy dyed stuff and the reason why i say that is because um after also after looking at some stuff uh when i do my index cards and my um Guest checks. I don't make anything after the, especially because each of the listing fees costs, you know, it's like 20 cents for every listing and then Etsy takes their portion and then, you know, you got to pay for shipping, uh, shipping labels and all this other stuff. I make pennies, literally like pennies. I think when my son and I figured it out after calculating how long it takes to dye them and all this other stuff, I think I make, uh, I think he said six cents a pack. So, um, and it would be more cost effective for me to bundle them and pay one listing fee versus a, a bunch of different, you know, different ones. So I'm going to restructure. I'm going to take that time to do all that. And then when I get, and then I will do the die and then set everything in the shop. So, and we'll, I'll come back and of course explain all that stuff at that time. So that is what I got coming up. Um, thank you guys for being patient. I know a lot of you have been eager, eager, asking when are they going to be released and waiting patiently for them, but they are up now. And I thank you all. So have a wonderful, and I will see you soon because I will be coming back to, to finish up this journal. And uh, until then, next time, until then, guys, <laughs> plenty of hugs, loves, and blessings. Boy, I need some sleep. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mwah.